Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Done. I'm done. Look at that. I'm so happy. I think I showed you the whole thing. I just waited because I got the, um, I just put the picture up that came today. Take a, check out the curtains because those were 75 inch curtains. <laughs> and I hemmed them by hand because I couldn't find my sewing machine in my packing. Look at that. Not bad. But there is a story to go with it. Funny thing is, now that it's done, I'm keeping the door closed. I don't want my wonderful cats to get in there and do anything <laughs> to it. And Nikki hasn't seen it yet, so I can't wait for that to happen. I think she's gonna be happy. Michael's thrilled. And you have to check out the cabinets because three hours to get these sweet doors to line up. <laughs> because when they drilled the inside, they drilled double holes because I guess they hadn't been sure where they wanted it. I swear I put them in the wrong hole 10 times. I didn't film it. I was going to, but it was not fit for any of you to see. It just wasn't. And with the paint on now, this is all tight. But I did like I did on the other side, and I put in shelf liners. I didn't down here. It didn't need them. But it's done. This was easy to paint and almost my undoing to put it back together. It's sad. Was talking to Michael on Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> I was telling him how I feel like I'm still this energetic person who has got all my faculties. And as I'm saying it to him, I get the sugar out to fill it and put all the sugar in the tea bags. I filled it to the top. Yeah. I don't have any of my faculties, never mind all of my faculties. It's Monday afternoon, five o'clock. I just got home from spending this beautiful day in the Northeast with a little one and it was 60. We took a great long walk, spent a lot of time after the walk with her little push thing so that she can walk out in the driveway um, at their house. And then took a, she took a nap and we spent another hour, hour and a half just sitting in the grass. So it was a gorgeous day. Now, remember the days when you had to make your kids wear shoes for the first time? Yeah, yeah, she's not thrilled about this at all. Um, can't let her outside without shoes, especially this time of year, but probably the whole time because it's not a nice lawn and she, she's going to get hurt. So we had that argument today with a nine-month-old. I won by the still my teeth. So this weekend I finished the bathroom. It was, um, it wasn't bad. Much easier when Michael's around because I have, it's not like we're in the same room talking. He's building in his part of the project and I'm in the bathroom, but it just, it gives me more energy. Don't ask me why, I don't know. So I got all the painting done, nice and thin coats, so that every three or four hours I could put on another coat. Did you notice the door? I like it. Michael said Nikki's not going to, He, and that's fine, but um, I'm glad I painted it, because I, I really like it. Somebody had asked me if I can use them in my house. Don't think I answered this, but no, I can't because we're going to be putting um, very wide doors in the couple of rooms that I'm going to have just for in case a wheelchair ever. So those doors aren't wide enough to make it work. Or I would take them over because I have no problem with them whatsoever. Um, after, while I was painting and stopping, painting and stopping, I had those long curtains. Couldn't find the sewing machine. So I got mad because I had already cut them off. Um, got mad, sat down, went to Amazon, 
ordered another pair that I hoped I would like in 35, 36 inches. After I placed the order, I went looking for just the sewing kit, thinking, all right, I'll just do it by hand. It's not a big deal. Um, couldn't find the sewing kit. Said a lot of bad words this weekend, folks. Thank goodness I wasn't, I didn't have the camera on. So when I went in to get something in that closet that I have all my, um, my tools and everything in, there's the sewing kit. It's big, I shouldn't miss it. So I went on Amazon, caught it in time, could cancel the order. So I sat here, you know, it took what, 40 minutes maybe. Um, you know, I had turned them, pressed it, turned it, you know, to make a little um, hem and then pressed it again. Um, found my pins so I could pin it. And I sat here so proudly you know, being my sweet little so sold the whole thing, lifted them up to admire them, and took this with me. <laughs> yeah, I sold this to it. Out comes the seam ripper. <laughs> but it's done. I'm pleased as punch. Um, as I said, Michael loved it. Bernie came over Sunday afternoon, yesterday afternoon, for a long time. It was, oh, I love talking to my sisters. And let me just say, it wasn't always that way. I've always loved my sisters. I've always liked spending time with them. I haven't always loved spending time with them. I'm extremely stubborn. And there were a lot of times when I was the one that didn't go to family functions, just could not do it. Um, and I will say today, I still have to talk myself into it, and I'm still the first one to leave. But I love talking to my sisters now. And Bernie has been a godsend, um, they all have, but she's a social worker, so she can walk me through some things with um, elder care for Nikki's situation. She's just been very, very helpful, let me say that. But once we're not talking about things like that, which we weren't this weekend, we're solving all the problems in the world. If people would li listen, <laughs> if people would listen to me, I'm telling you, <laughs> we could fix the world. And you know what? I think it's that way with a lot of more mature women. Now, not all of us, but I think some of us have some decent ideas. Yeah, I really think women of so much more intuitive and so much more intelligent than we give ourselves credit for. Or if we do give ourselves credit, we do it um, privately, internally. And it's time for us to just speak up because we have a lot to offer. So Bernie and I had a lot to offer and we offered it. Michael was here for some of it and he just sits there and laughs. Um, Bernie also got out of her car when she got here. And of course I'm at the door yelling at her to move her butt. And she said, you know, this is what you should be filming so people know who you really are. <laughs> and I think you all know who I really am. So my week has been, and it's been over a week, um, busy, busy, you know. And it's just, I start at five in the morning, I get home at five at night. And those last three hours between five and eight before I go to bed, I have to eat dinner, decompress, take a shower, and find a way to make myself go to sleep so I can start the next day. It's very, very different. You know, somebody <clears throat> had put up, they missed my, the fun. They missed my fun videos, and I wrote me too. Because right now, it's on, you know, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. It's just been very, very um, methodical. Everything's been very methodical. Spring's coming. We'll get out like we did today. Um, today was the eclipse. I didn't get glasses. I didn't know if the baby would be up or not, and I didn't want to be looking up and have her try to look too. Um, so it was very anticlimactic for me because it just got like the sun was behind a cloud for a little bit. It didn't get dark. And we were supposed to be in the 80% range. So... It didn't seem it to me, 
but people around here who had glasses and were out looking at it said it was spectacular. So um, if it was spectacular, spectacular where you are, I hope you got to enjoy it. In other <clears throat> thoughts, a week ago, <coughs> excuse me, somebody wrote a note on um, com in the comment section of a video and said that they were 80. And I'm sorry, I never remember to write down who it was. And for me to go back and find it out of a couple hundred comments, yeah, I don't have that kind of patience. But said she was 80 and she knows I'm quite a bit younger at 70. And wonders where I see myself at 80. Hmm, that's a good question. Except that <laughs> my answer is very simplistic. And I really have thought about it. I thought and thought and thought because I didn't want to be saying something just to say it. But I have to preface this, I'm sorry. I never expected to be here at 70. You know, my life has had a lot more downs than ups. <clears throat> there were times when I really thought I was gonna check out. I'm not saying that cavalierly. I um, truly did not think I'd be here. You know, wasn't a good marriage. Had trouble with my oldest son. Felt very unneeded, very uncared for, for many, many years. Now, it probably wasn't true. It was just an internal feeling. But then, at 58, when my brother committed suicide, it really, really took a turn where I didn't know that I was going to be around. I've always been very honest about that, not just here on the channel with my family saying, you know, just it is a, it's your own personal will, it's your own personal beliefs. Um, you know, I had said to my doctor two or three years ago when my coughing was at its peak that I couldn't continue. It just, I couldn't breathe. Um, I couldn't stop coughing. That's a long way to say I didn't plan to see 70. Now, you know, I pray that I live to be 130 because my life has done a complete 360 um, or 180. I don't know what it is, probably 180. And yes, opposite end of the spectrum is I am so lucky and content that this is uncharted territory for me. And so I just want my life to stay on this path. I, I'm very, very, very happy where I am. I don't see myself doing a lot of traveling, but because I don't want to, and I don't have needs, I don't have wants. I'm probably one of the most fortunate people on the planet. I'm just content, which I don't think I've ever been content in my life. So my plan for when I turn 80, if I'm lucky enough to be here, is more of the same. And keep my learn to keep my mouth shut so that I don't antagonize anybody. And just to enjoy what I'm being fortunate enough to enjoy now. So if anything, it'll be just more of my insanity. Once the building starts, it'll be another huge chapter. You know what I want to do? I want to get outside. There's a lot of daffodils and little bluebells around the trees that are going to end up being cut down in a couple weeks. Hopefully over the weekend I can get out there. I want to dig them all up and move them to someplace safe. Um, I don't want to, I, I can't watch them get destroyed. So I would love to hear from people 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, what your plan is or what your thoughts are for the next 10 years. Maybe I'm missing something that you'll say, 
you know, I would, I hope this is what's happening and I can go, Ooh, me too. Um, cause right now I'm just way too happy. My next project will start over the weekend and I'm going to start working in the room that I'm, I have my bed in the baby's room. I just said her name and had to edit it out. That's why I look disgusted. And there's a lot of nail holes and things that I want to patch. I asked Michael and then stop painting. I want to paint the doors. So that's what I'm going to do. Nikki is going to be around this week. So I won't be with the baby as much, which is going to be very hard. But I don't have any plans for that either. Maybe we'll get out. Um, I was going to say maybe we can get out and take a good walk somewhere, but it's supposed to rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I'll be with the baby off and on. So we'll see if we can um, work in some exercise. I am walking a mile or so a day with a little one, so that's a good thing. I am going to go make myself some supper. I got a rotisserie chicken yesterday at Hannaford's and I made some mashed potatoes. So that's my, my supper, and I will check in when I can. I know I'm missing in action a lot, but if I don't have anything to say, I'm not gonna waste your time. Hope I didn't waste your time today. Have a great week. Enjoy, write notes, let me know what's going on. I'm done.